Mad at First Sight Season 12, what's coming up next? This is the clip that a lot of you are saying that you have not seen. Um, I wanted to do it this morning, but I wanted to kind of drop my conspiracy theory out there. Just wanted to know what you thought about it. So this is the other clip that they show that's coming on tomorrow night, tomorrow night. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Please be sure to thumbs up. Share this out if you can. Leave a comment for me. Thank you for your love and support with my books. Okay. So if you watch my, um, my little conspiracy theory this morning, the clips shows where we left off last week of... Chris telling uh, Paige that her ex, his ex fiance is pregnant. Now, I want you to go and watch my conspiracy theory video that I posted this morning, okay? And then you hear the, the voiceover of the, the person saying, never before in all of, Amer of, of merit at first sight history has such a scandal rock the foundation of a couple. And I'm like, foundation? Now, when I think about foundation, I think of Jesus Christ, the solid rock on which I stand. Oh, hallelujah. I think about him being the solid rock. Hallelujah. I think about Jesus being the rock that I stand on. And sure, both of these people said they are believers, but honey, child, I'm just letting you know, I, I'm questioning myself. Well, we definitely know that Chris the charlatan, the wolf in she's clothing, is a wolf in she's clothing. And you know, people are, are questioning Sister Paige's faith, okay? But you know, girl, you know, I mind my business. I am not one to mind all the people's business, okay? <laughs> And then in the clip from last week, if you watch my video last week of what's coming up next, we see Paige at the door in a white robe saying, he is too much. And then we see Paige telling Brianna what happened. Brianna had on her right a white robe. And Paige is like, well, I just had a bomb to drop on me, okay? This is Paige telling her, this is last week. So in this week's, episode we see chris telling Paige that his ex uh fiance is pregnant right and then Paige's reaction like uh is of her in a pink dress and that's the clip of them sitting around talking because from the clip from last week what we saw was um chris in the greenish kind of shirt telling Paige who had on a white robe. So we did not see Paige's reaction. The reaction they're showing on this week's episode is of her in a pink dress being shocked at, oh, you know, the ex is pregnant. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. So this is why my conspiracy theory this morning, be sure to watch it. Okay. Because all these clips, you got to put the clips together. Okay. So then you see Paige sitting down, shaking around, thinking in her head, like, I'm going to have to walk away. Well, thank you, Sister Paige. I'm glad you're finally making up your mind you're going to walk away. But sis, you still sleep on him. Or are you going to sleep with him tonight? Did you sleep with him after he told you that he has a whole baby on the way by his alleged, alleged... Uh, well, this is not alleged because this is what it actually says. My ex fiance uh, is pregnant. Okay. Then um, we see Clara. I'm start. I see. I'm starting to see what y'all are talking about. That y'all, some of you guys are thinking that you don't really like her. She's talking too much. And she's like, oh, this is horrible. I feel horrible for her. And then we see uh, Vagina <laughs> asking him. Chris, well, is it yours? Well, that's what we're trying to find out, too. Uh, brother Chris, we're trying to find out who is the baby mama and is the baby yours? Because, you know, we're going to have to take this over to Jerry Springer and to, uh, uh, <laughs> to Maury, okay? 
So is this a big mouth Clara talking about I'm upset for her and angry at him? Okay, well, okay, I'm gonna give her that because we all angry at Chris. And then we hear vagina, well, is it yours? Chris then says the question was disrespectful. It is so crazy to me that everything is disrespectful to him, but he's not showing anybody any any respect. First of all, you don't respect yourself as a an alleged man of God, you're dipping it in, dipping it out. You don't respect the woman, you're dipping it in, in and dipping it out and swinging it high and swinging it low. But soon as somebody says something, first thing you want to say is that's disrespectful. Granted, lady, granted, in my books, I talk about how respect is extremely important for men. Respect is the air that they breathe. However, in this uh, instance with the Charlatan, the wolves, and she's clothing Chris. It doesn't apply to him. Then we see Eric saying, if that's important on you, you got to focus on that. And then foolish, foolish Paige starts smiling and sitting up like, yeah, focus on me. And I'm like, is she, is she not thinking about staying with the charlatan, is she? And then big mouth, liquor mouth, alcoholic mouth, vagina, say something about something. I don't even care if she's so drunk with her slur speech. I can't even understand what she is saying. Okay, and I just don't understand why she's running her lips. And then you see, then you see Brianna kind of putting her arm all over Vincent like she's protecting her him. You know, Miss Brianna. And she's rubbing her face like she is embarrassed or in her head. Is she thinking, shut your mouth, vagina. Shut your mouth. Because that's probably what I would be thinking with her drunk self. Okay. Then the charlatan is going to say, girl. Oh, I got to stop saying girl. The brothers are complaining. <laughs> The brothers are saying, Janice, I am a man. I am straight. I understand you have a lot of girls listening, but I listen too. The brothers are listening too, and we are not girls. So I said, okay, cousin, I'm going to have to stop saying girls and, and just start saying cousin. C cousin, okay? Because <laughs> that's the kind of platform I want to have. Like, we're girls, you're my girlfriend, we're family, we're cousin, okay? Cousin. Then um, the charlatan is going to say, y'all could risk, y'all could be more supportive if you respect our privacy. What privacy when you just told them that you, your fiance is pregnant? You shouldn't have told them nothing. If you wanted them to respect your privacy, you should have shut your mouth and 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 not tell them your business. And then Eric is saying, "Well, we're just here if you need us," which is which is great support. That vagina, she needs to just shut her mouth, honey. And poor little Paige is just sitting there looking so pitiful, girl. I might run the video back for you, okay? They, the charlatan, is gonna say, "That's all I'm gonna say about it." And get up and walk and start crying. If this wolf in sheep's clothing cry one more time i am so sick and tired of him crying like you would think this man that's dipping the little dingling in and out swinging it high swinging it low wouldn't i've never seen a man cry as much i've not even a baby not even little baby Michael cry as much as this big old grown rusty and crusty charlatan wolf in sheep's clothing was crying. All this cry. Every time you turn around, he cry. I never seen no man cry like that. Like, what's wrong with him, girl? I just, let me play this video for you. Wait a minute, girl. Let me just see if I can play this video. Hold on. Hold on.
Like my daddy would say, D cry while you're doing the thing, okay? You want to cry after, uh-uh. Cry while you're doing it, baby. Cry while you're in the middle of it. <laughs> Girl, I can't wait for tomorrow night. Let me, well, you know, I don't watch, Um, I used to watch um live, but I can't. I just, I'm not going to be able to, I can't, I can't do two hours <laughs> at night, eight to, two, I can't, girl, cousin, I just can't, so let me know what y'all think about it, and did y'all hear anything else about what's going on, who pregnant, is it the baby mama, <clears throat> is it the cousin, or is it the, uh, the ex-fiance, and which one, girl, because you know there are several, all right, babes, I'm gonna go remember my books on Amazon, um, Throw the task guys in my meat. And uh, this one's coming soon. Matter of fact, I'm about to go check the thing on this one. And uh, the naked wife. And in Christ I am. I'm about to check the the file for that one so I could approve it. The other part. Okay, I love you. <laughs> Have a good day. Have a good day. Enjoy your day. Be safe out there. It's supposed to be snowing here uh, later today in Jersey. So, anyways, I got to go, girl. Cousin, cousin. Love you. Bye.